Welcome to Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. We're back with breaking news out of Oregon tonight. Police appear to be zeroing in on 36-year-old Benjamin Foster, the focus of a week-long manhunt. He is accused of kidnapping and torturing a woman. These are pictures from a scene over in Grants Pass, Oregon, where police are attempting to locate Foster. Grants Pass police also released this picture on their Facebook page. They say it shows Foster in the Grants Pass area this morning walking a small dog. Now, police there have been searching for Foster for a week now, calling him extremely dangerous. They released these photos of him earlier this week and warned he might try to change his appearance to evade authorities. Investigators also say he could be active on dating apps to either lure someone to help him escape or to potentially find more victims. Foster has been on the run since last Tuesday after police responded to a call about an assault at a home in Grants Pass. There, they found a woman Woman who was unconscious with critical injuries. Authorities identified Foster as the suspect in that case. He managed to escape at the time and is now wanted for attempted murder, kidnapping, and assault. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Steve Patterson, who joins us with more on these breaking developments. Uh, Steve, bottom line, we don't know a ton right now, but we do know that at least this morning, police thought it's possible this suspect was still in the area, right? Yeah, it tells you that they're zeroing in, at least in the area of Grants Pass. Now, these images, I want to be clear, we don't know exactly what this is. This appears to be a police or, you know, a federal marshal's area of focus. Maybe they are zeroing in on this. Maybe this is uh, evidentiary part of the investigation that they're just following up on. You, you see there, it appears to be a heavy police presence. They've got some of the larger police vehicles there, um, and they may just be searching, or, or this may be where they believe the suspect is, where Foster is. But I want to be clear, we don't know that at this point. We're in contact with the police department to try to learn more. Uh, but certainly, Grants Pass has been the area of focus for now just about a week, almost exactly a week, searching for Foster, zeroing in that dragnet to try to catch this man that they call armed and dangerous, and then releasing this picture that you're seeing on screen. This is all new information to the local area. Obviously, they want to get this out to the public because they consider this man dangerous, so anything they can do uh, to try to locate him is all important, not only to the investigation, but to the public safety of Grants Pass and to Oregonians uh, just in general. Uh, but if this is a zeroing in, if he is in this neighborhood, this would be a week-long investigation and manhunt that has now ended in this way, uh, but we're still waiting to learn more. And Jeff. if that is him in that picture walking the dog, it shows just yep. how brazenly he might be still yes. out and about in the town. Let's take a step back, talk about what happened a week ago. This woman yep. critically injured last week. What do we know about the victim and how she's doing right now? She's still critically wounded, and that should just tell you everything you need to know about how bad this was. Police describe seeing the images of how badly she was beaten as horrific. This is a woman that was found in a residence in that area uh, literally a week ago and still now in critical condition. We don't know exactly what was done to her. Police are just using the blanket term as torture, but it could be anything. And you don't need to know anymore, Joe. You don't need to see any pictures or hear any more descriptions. It's just looking at the faces of the authorities and the officers that have been at these press conferences, most notably the chief that just has a look of horror on his face that has described being emotional disturbed by what was described that was done to this woman and so they're taking this incredibly seriously he has said that this will stick with him for the rest of his life so you can bet they want to bring this man to justice they want to find this suspect as quickly and as efficiently as they can and hopefully they are doing that now and Joe? Steve, you know, one of the more chilling details we've learned from police in recent days was that Foster could be on dating apps. Do we know why authorities yeah. believe that's a possibility? And are these dating app companies cooperating with authorities? 
It, it has to be the most chilling detail for the general public because, you know, how many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people interact with these dating apps on a daily basis. Uh, so we don't know where it originates from, Joe. We don't know why police have zeroed in on this detail. Obviously, they believe it's a threat to the public, so they're making sure that people know about it. But they're also asking for the public's help. Uh, they're saying if they see anything that resembles this guy, and, and they're telling people to look not just at his appearance that you may see that we've showed you, uh, because he could change that appearance. He could change his beard. He could change his hair. Look at the eyes. Look at the, the facial, the bone structure uh, in case that changes. It, we're hearing from police that he may be using these apps to either coerce a woman into helping him evade police or to potentially scout for another victim, which is just so chilling to hear. Uh, but the word is out there. If you do see him, do not approach and report anything that you find in police. All right, Joe? Steve Patterson covering this breaking news for us. Steve, thank you so much. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Thank you for watching, and I'm gone.